There really is no safe day if you can have sex without protection and risk getting pregnant. Although there's a really low chance of pregnancy when you have sex during these days. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Royal Zia. I'm here with another health talk and today we're talking about family planning. Now family planning is huge but I'll try to summarize it into six points. First, we're going to know the definition of family planning, the importance of planning your family, um, the types of family planning methods and also um, how effective they are and how to choose which method suits you and also the side effects and how to manage them so stay tuned family planning is the consideration of the number of children a person wishes to have including the choice to not have any children and also at the age at which they wish to have them things to put in mind while planning your family include uh, marital situation and also career or work consideration and financial situations why is family planning important well first things first family planning helps reduce maternal and infant mortality it reduces maternal mortality in a sense that um, it helps someone avoid unwanted pregnancies and you know when a lot of women these days when they get pregnant the first instinct they have is that they want to abort this baby because maybe they don't have enough money to take care of the baby so family planning will help reduce the mortality by reducing the unwanted pregnancy and in turn reduce unsafe abortions for the infant mortality reduction you see when a mother spaces their children uh, she will give more time and resources to raise this child uh, um, instead of giving birth to so many children and maybe you don't have enough money to take care of them and they probably die due to malnutrition or just anything else. By spacing the children, you're also promoting healthy pregnancies in a way that um, you will reduce the risk of pregnancy complications like low birth weight or even preterm uh, deliveries. Family planning also improves nutrition in a way because now when you give birth you need to recover from childbirth and then also give time to your baby, time to breastfeed your baby, to feed, to wean them when they get to six months and this will help improve their nutrition state and also your mental state. Those are just a few of a whole long list of importance of family planning. Let's dive right into uh, the methods of family planning. Family planning is divided into about six. There's a short-acting form of family planning. There's long-acting. There's barrier methods, emergency contraception, the fertility awareness, which involves the calendar method or safe days, as you call it. There's also another one called pull-out method or withdrawal. And lastly, we have permanent methods. For the long acting, we have the implants, which are of two types. One is for three years and another one is for five years. All these implants are inserted subdermally, just below the skin. Um, we have this implant on that is one road and it's effective for three years. There's also another uh, implant that is two road and is effective for three years. Uh, I didn't manage to get a picture. Then there is Jadel, which also has two rods and it's effective for five years. We also have an uh, intrauterine contraceptive device, which is a long acting method. You can get one of three years, and there's another one for five years, and there's another one for ten years. It's your choice, honestly. This is how the intrauterine contraceptive device looks like when it's in you and you'll find that they don't always look the same, they're of two different types. One has a perfect T with uh, metallic rings on all sides. These metallic rings are made of copper. So this is a copper intrauterine contraceptive device. It has less side effects compared to the hormonal one. This other one that is a little bent at the top is now the hormonal contraceptive, hormonal intrauterine device. This one, um, as you can see, doesn't have any rings and uh, it has more side effects compared to the copper one. More side effects in terms of you might have heavy bleeding because, you know, it has hormones. Most people actually prefer to use the copper intrauterine device because it has less side effects. For the short acting, we have the hormonal patch which is changed every one week. 
we have the depo provera which is an injection you get on your deltoid muscle every three months we have the pills which are divided in two one pill is a progestin only pill which contains only one hormone and it's uh, it's meant to be used by breastfeeding mothers the reason is uh, when they use this other pill that has combined hormones uh, it tends to reduce the breast milk and we don't want the breast milk to reduce when your baby has not hit six months yet we don't want to reduce breast milk because we have not weaned the baby. So this progestin only pill is meant for breastfeeding mothers. When they get to six months, when they start weaning their baby, they can they are free to change to whichever method they want because now they're not worried about their baby not getting enough milk because you know they're breastfeeding and also eating the family food. Then we have the combined oral contraceptive pill which has two hormones and it can be used by anyone who is not breastfeeding below six months postpartum. For the emergency contraception methods, we have emergency contraceptive pill which is strictly to be used during emergencies. Let's say maybe when you are raped or you had sex with a condom and it burst or maybe it's, it's got lost somewhere, then you can take the pill. Now, these are habits of women where they have sex as they wish and they take this pill. Taking this pill frequently may lead to complications. First, you might get pregnant. And this pregnancy is not going to be a normal pregnancy. It will grow outside the uterus instead of in the uterus. It will grow maybe at the fallopian tubes or it can grow at the cervix or just anywhere that is not in the uterine cavity. And you know what? Uh, this is called... This is called an ectopic pregnancy and honestly this is not a pregnancy you would wish to have because it's very painful you bleed a lot and probably uh, the only way to get out of it is through surgery so the uh, you only need to take this pill at least once or twice a year fertility awareness involves the calendar method or safe days as you call it and then the permanent methods include tubal ligation and also vasectomy. Effectiveness of family planning methods. The permanent methods which are bilateral tubal ligation or vasectomy are more than 99% effective. There's a really tiny chance that within a year of the procedure, one can still get pregnant. Hormonal patch when used correctly is also more than 99% effective. Intrauterine contraceptive devices are also more than 99% effective and are effective immediately. Condoms are 98% effective. Um, the pills are 90%. The Depo Provera is 96, I think. The pullout method and the calendar or safe day method are 75% effective. There really is no safe day if you can have sex without protection and risk getting pregnant. Although there's a really low chance of pregnancy when you have sex during these days. Side effects. Um, I'll start with IUCD. And before I get into it, um, you should know that the uterus is an organ that always wants to be free. You see, like the way when someone gets pregnant, of course, it comes a time when the baby is automatically pushed out by the uterus. The same way if you get uh, uterine masses like fibro fibroids, uh, cysts, and everything else, the uterus will give you symptoms like bleeding, uh, severe pain, to tell you that there's a stranger in here and it needs to come out. So it's the same thing with IUCD. IUCD is a, is a foreign body. So when it's kept in the uterus, this is how the uterus is going to react. So you can have side effects like cramps, bleeding, back pain. But with time when the uterus gets used to this stranger, everything gets back to normal. Complications could involve fever and chills to signify an, an infection. Um, with IUCD, you must be faithful to one partner because getting infections is very easy if you have multiple sexual partners. And also, uh, when there is bacterial overgrowth in the vagina, this string acts like a mediator in that this bacteria will travel uh, up the uterus through this string and give you infections like pelvic inflammatory disease and just any other infection. The strings can go missing, become shorter or longer, a sign that the IUCD has either moved out, moved up or down. 
I will combine the implants, Depo, Provera and also pills because you'll find that uh, almost all hormonal contraceptives have similar side effects. You'll get irregular bleeding or prolonged periods or unexplained vaginal bleeding, uh, abdominal pains, you could have mood changes, uh, nausea, weight gain or loss among others. Which family planning method suits you? Or what is the best family planning method? Most people ask themselves these questions. You'll find that uh, people come to the hospital having no clue of which uh, contraceptive method they are going to use. So first they will come ask you, hi, I'm here for family planning, but I don't know what I should choose. Please advise me. Well, here is some advice. First things first, we'll have to rule out if you have any underlying condition. So the first thing that we, that we do is uh, a blood pressure reading is essential because now uh, for those people who have high blood pressure, they, have, they, they are not supposed to use uh, contraceptive methods that contain estrogen. Same to those who have HIV or STIs, they are not supposed to use intrauterine devices. So really it depends if you're healthy or if you have an underlying condition. If you don't have any condition, it depends on how long you want to plan your family. So uh, if you want a gap of six months, you're going to choose uh, the short acting methods like Depo Provera for, for three months. You get injection every three months for six months, then you can get pregnant. You can also go for the pills, the everyday pill. And um, if you want to plan or if you need a pregnancy gap of five years, you can go for the implants. If you need a 10 year gap, you can go for the IUCD. So, and also um, consider the side effects, those you can manage. So really there's no, the, there's no best method. It just depends on you, on the time you want to plan your family and also if you have an underlying condition. So I would advise you to pick family planning because it helps prevent unwanted pregnancies and also it helps you uh, invest. You remember what, what we said about uh, the importance of family planning? Yeah, you give space to your babies, you'll be able to invest in yourself, you'll be okay mentally, you'll prevent abortions and early deaths, maternal deaths, fetal deaths, it's a lot of whole list. You'll prevent poverty. You don't want to bring so many babies in this world and fail to take care of them. Or they will milk you dry. you go dry financially and then you just become poor. Because you haven't planned your family. You're just giving birth one child after another, after another and another. I know God said multiply and fill the earth, but please, if you can't manage, you need to plan your family. If you have the money and you have the strength, and ability to raise these children then well and good but if you don't please consider family planning you'll find it's free in most uh, government hospitals and for private hospitals it's, as much as it's not free it's not expensive so just plan your family that's all about family planning if you have any questions please ask in the comment section and i really appreciate you if you've watched till now and um, my next video is gonna be about iucd insertion i'm going to give you a, an idea of what happens during IUCD insertion. That video is not going to be for learning purposes for the medical students or the medics. It's just going to give you an idea of what happens during uh, intrauterine contraceptive device insertion. Okay? Alright, bye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I love you and peace.